What's up people this is E4K and today we're going to find out if all the Koreans eat dog. Many of you have seen or heard that Koreans eat dogs but do all the Koreans eat dogs? Before going into the topics don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and also the notification bells. There has been a controversy on the subject in Korea among people. The side who agrees on eating says the pet dog and the breeding dog is a different species. And what they're saying is it should be also treated same as cows or pigs. On the other hand, the animal rights activists such as Korean Animal Protection Society or related activist groups. There are a lot of this kind of uh, animal rights activists in Korea. What they are saying is not only prohibiting the dog meat, but also the abuse on these animals are really harsh. They say they have to restrict this by law. There was discussion passing the bill in the Congress, but people feel quite uncomfortable to restrict, to prohibit dog meat by law. Not because of they want to eat it, but restricting it by law, what you could eat, is like infringement on freedom of will. Of course not. Vietnam, Indonesia, China, many Asian countries do eat dog meat. And I know there are some countries eating cats too. Actually, Vietnam consumes more dog meat than Korea. They will restrict eating dog meat in Hanoi from next year, but only in Hanoi, not whole entire country. Also, the most of the consumption on dog meat is uh, taken in China. Considering the population, of course it is more reasonable. They consume more. It is probably because of the media. And as I told you, there are very many animal rights activists in Korea. They do protest very aggressively. They use all types of methods to insist their opinion. Also, joining with the foreign activist group, they do a lot of protests, upload lots of videos, spreading photos, uploading on social medias, even having a lot of interviews on the, with the journalisms too. And since it's an interesting topic, the Western medias, of course, they got interested in this topics and they make a lot of news and write lots of articles, even make a documentary on this those news or the medias portrayed as most of the people are eating and people get this stereotype the generalization has been made by those media but like in china the protest is prohibited and the media is restricted so not easy to report and also they're less aggressive activists but as long as i know also it's not the majority eating the dog meat in china Actually, the dog meat is decreasing rapidly in Korea. If you see the statistic from 2005 to 2014, for a decade, for 10 years, 40% of the dog restaurant decreased. Now it would has decreased in much more higher rate. According to 2018 survey, 47% has never tried dog meat before. 39%, almost 40% has tried it before, but they don't eat it anymore. And only 13% answered they do eat until now. It's 2020, so I think it has decreased more. 70% of the people has answered they will not even try it in the future. It is on the decline. Biggest dog market in the city has been closed a few years ago. Mostly old people, especially the guys, the old guys, probably aging more than 40 or 50. And it is more on the countryside rather than the city. In the city, you won't find it that much people eating. Nowadays, young people don't even try to eat it, especially the young females. It is not considered as a common food. It's not like you can buy it where you eat it on a regular basis like a beef or pork or chicken. It is very specialized dish. Even the people who eat dog meat, they don't eat it like 
beef or chicken. Maybe they might eat it once or twice a year. To give you an easy idea, it's like uh, when there's a Thanksgiving in the United States, they eat turkey. You don't eat turkey in a normal, regular basis, right? They, you only eat it on a special day or very occasionally. It's something like that. In Korea, there is a certain day called Bongnal. It is in the middle of summer, very hot summer that we decided to eat a good food because it's very hot. So most common dish would be the chicken soup with ginseng called samgyetang. On this Bongnal, most of the Koreans eat this samgyetang. But some, these minority people eat this dog meat dish called Bojintang and I guess the most of the consumption would be made on this day. It is said that people has been eating this dog meat a few hundred years ago. When there were not many things to eat, it was very hard to get the meat for peasants or slaves. Beef and pork was impossible for them to eat, so mostly those were for nobles. People were quite starving. So they had to find things to eat, not very often, but they have been eating. And also after the Korean War, many people were starving. There was nothing else to eat. So from the past, it was considered as to get the nutrition and the protein, very considered as a stamina food. So that's the reason why the, only the old people are still eating. It is not popular at all. It is really, really not popular. As I already repeated, only the minority peoples are eating this. You won't find it in any supermarket or grocery stores. If you want to buy the, the meat, you have to go to some certain area. Not many people know about it. You have to search it on the internet probably. Not only the, the meat, but the restaurants. It's very difficult to find the restaurants. Uh, you won't find it on the street, especially on the downtown. If I go to the downtown, there is like 30, 50 tons of restaurants, but I have never seen this dog meat restaurant in the downtown. Maybe it might be in the little corner or something like that where you cannot find it, but you won't really find it when you're walking by. It's not really easy to find this restaurant. It's not so many. The demand is quite low. Even the Koreans who agree not eating dog find it very offended when those foreign medias or activists criticize about this. They just see the surface and they're like interfering onto these issues without the knowledge or the background. People think it's very rude, forcing to change one's culture, judging by their own perspective. Uh, for example, if one goes to France and say, the French should stop eating foie gras. You know, foie gras is a goose liver because they're abusing. Of course, you could criticize about the abusing, but saying goose is a very delicate animal. Why would you be eating a lot of goose liver? What would French people think about it? Or maybe the people saying Europeans should stop eating rabbit. I have a rabbit as a pet, then a rabbit is a cute animal. How would you be so cruel to eat that cute little rabbit? then what do they think? In some place people are eating dolphins, in some place they are eating monkeys. People could be against eating those animals. But unless it's endangered species, I think there is no right to say one should stop eating other animals. The animals as a pet is increasing, getting treated really well. This pet industry in Korea has grown really high in 2020, this market is estimated as 5 billion US dollars. This market has been doubling and tripling every each year. Raising pet has been very common nowadays. Now they consider dogs and cats as their family. The people living by themselves raised a lot of pets and they feel very close to their pets too. If you've been living in Korea, you might have seen this kind of picture somewhere else. Uh, down the pole or the wall. When they lose their uh, pets, they post the wanted posters and they put a reward, their numbers too. People are really caring for their dogs and cats.
where there's a town, you might find a pet hospital near the town. A lot of pet hospital has been opened. It is quite expensive. When you have a pet, you have to take them to a hospital for injections, even though they're not ill. When they're sick, it costs a lot. It costs more than a person because the insurance is not covered. There is a pet hotel. When you want to go on a vacation, you put it on a hotel. I think it even costs more than the hostel I go to when I travel. There is a pet grooming shop. It costs average, it costs like 50 to 60 bucks. Sometimes it costs more than 100 bucks too. It's more expensive than my haircut. There are cemetery for the pets and crematorium for the pets too. Also, charnel house it's like a memorial place for your pets you even have this pet camera nowadays there are many people working they leave their pets at home alone so they want to see their pet while they're outside they could speak to their pet the pet might not feel so lonely itself they could give some food or snacks by remote smartphone controls perception has been really changed some people think isn't this too much going too far because they might think they're spending a lot of money money the snacks for these pets are more expensive than the, the snacks we eat some people are criticizing they're spending too much money on their pets anyway that's the way the life is changing here the pet life is changing eventually the dog meat industry is declining and will decline every each year and I think in 10 to 20 years it will vanish people will be finding in the history Every culture has been different for a few hundred or thousand years. Even you might not like it or not agree with that, people should respect other cultures. Lastly, I want to say that whether they are breeded for food or not, all the animals should be treated well without any abuse till the end. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to hear more interesting topics, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.